What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas. This is my unboxing and first impressions of Google Wi-Fi. It's a home Wi-Fi system that's made by Google and I opted for the three point system uh, that provides you the three individual uh, Wi-Fi routers that uh, work together as a mesh network in your home. Now you can buy these as a single system or buy two separate ones and you can continue to add uh, as many as you need for your home network. They all work together uh, in making your internet in your home much better. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into the box here. It's a really nice unboxing experience as you got some sort of plastic type foam here that has a velvet feel to it and your three individual points. So with that being said, let's take each and every one of these out so you can see what you get. All right, so here is everything you get in the box if you purchase the three point system of Google Wi-Fi. You get the three Wi-Fi points, you get three power adapters, which are USB type C, you get one ethernet cable, which is six foot long and a quick start guide. And that is all just telling you how to download the app because setup of this system requires that you access it through the app and do all of the setup that is outlined on the quick start guide. A couple things of note, because you may not need the three point system is that one Wi-Fi point will cover a small home or an apartment and is made for about 500 to 1500 square feet. So one point will uh, cover you there uh, just fine. If you have a house that is a medium size, which is 1500 to 3000 square foot, you could use two or it is recommended that you purchase two of them. And if you have a large home, so 3000 to 4500 square feet, you're going to want the three point system and you can add points as you go. So if you have a larger home or you just want better coverage, you can add a fourth and a fifth Wi-Fi point to your system. And that to me is just very intriguing and I am very interested in getting to test this system. Let's take a closer look at one of the Wi-Fi points that we have here. And then uh, we'll go ahead and hop into uh, some testing of them. I, I do wanna test the local area network connection that uh, and how this improves that because I wanna run this with my Synology. If you're interested in learning what Synology is and what it can do for you, I'll leave a card up there that you can click and check that video out. Let's just take a closer look at one of these Wi-Fi points. All right, so here's one of the Wi-Fi points. Um, they're rather small and compact. They have a light that goes around the edge to give you kind of a status uh, notification of how each and every one of them are performing. Some sort of reset button here as well. And then getting into the bottom of it here, you're gonna get all of your setup information. You got a QR code that you can quickly scan using the Google Wi-Fi application on Android or iOS. You'll have to pick one of them to attach to your modem and the others you'll just place in areas that you want to have uh, better or improved internet access. With this, you only get one input and one output uh, ethernet port and, uh, and then a USB type C charging port. Because you only get one and I needed more ports, um, I can handle that by adding a Linksys uh, five port switch and that's all I need. They have them in eight port as well. If you're interested in pricing and availability of any of this stuff that is shown in this video, please hit the links in the description of the video and then that'll take you to exactly what is being shown in this video. Upon closer inspection of the USB type C power adapters, you can see that this thing outputs a significant amount of amperage as it is uh, identified here as three amps. I'm glad that they are moving in this direction of uh, including universal type ports to kick off testing to see if the Google Wi-Fi mesh network has any performance improvements over my old setup. I wanted to test read and write speeds. To get a baseline, I connected a USB 2.0 5400 RPM magnetic hard drive directly to my system. And at that point I was getting around 36 megabytes right. Taking that same drive and connecting it to my network. I then tested the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands separately. In this test case, there are no differences between those two bands. Now, since Google Wi-Fi is a smart system and selects radio networks to give you the best performances automatically, I conducted this test using uh, Wi-Fi normally, and then I went into the app and prioritized my device to see if there was any difference. There isn't much difference, but there is a significant amount of performance increase when on 
on the Google Wi-Fi system versus the Apple Airport system that I had set up previous. Moving into analyzing the read speeds, having that hard drive directly connected produce the 24 megabytes per second read, then testing the two bands on the Apple Airport system, the 2.4 gigahertz band produced a three megabytes per second read, and then doubled when you dropped it into the five gigahertz band at producing a six megabytes per second read. The Google Wi-Fi system performs significantly better, producing an 18 megabytes per second read and a 19 megabytes per second read on normal and having the system prioritized respectively. Now here are some performance numbers that got me really excited and made me happy that I invested in Google Wi-Fi. I took a 1.42 gigabyte ProRes video file and transferred it to my Synology disk station and timed it. On the Apple Airport, it took eight minutes and 43 seconds on the 2.4 gigahertz band. I then did the five gigahertz band and that took longer, coming in at nine minutes and 55 seconds. Conducting the same exact test on Google Wi-Fi produced a one minute and 16 second transfer time when the Google Wi-Fi system was set on normal. And then when I prioritized my system, it did a little bit better coming in at a minute and eight seconds. This was gigantic for me. I mean, now I can utilize my Synology disk station more often as Google Wi-Fi is capable of producing the read and write speeds that I need to function as an editor. I conducted this test when my network was most congested just to see if it would function well. And Google Wi-Fi blew the Apple Airport system out of the water. People were in my home streaming, surfing the internet, playing video games. Everything was being used at the time when this test was being done. This alone for me is huge and makes this system all the more worth it to me. To put an end to the testing part of this video, I did some more trivial measurements of internet speed tests. And I say that because uh, these numbers are all dependent on your ISP's availability to your home or your service area. With that being said, the 2.4 gigahertz was producing around 27 megabits per second download and a 24 megabits per second upload. Dropping that mofo into the five gigahertz band produced a 163 megabits download and a 24 megabits upload. And that's pretty good if I do say so myself. And now to have a look at how Google Wi-Fi performed on the normal setting where my device was not prioritized, it produced a 58.97 megabits download and a 24 megabits per second upload. Then after prioritizing my device with everything connected to my network, I produced a download of 131 megabits per second download and a 23 or 24 megabits per second upload. As you can see, the differences between the two systems are pretty negligible. I will say that I have experienced significant uh, performance improvement on the Google Wi-Fi system. I cannot rave about this system anymore, especially considering the price. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If not, hit that other one. Thanks for taking the time to watch. I'm Tomas and I'll catch you in the next one.